Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. And for our first story of the day, Drake is in the news making waves because he said this on the record. Drake wrote the lyrics to Nice For What while playing NBA 2K. He said he was inspired by the game. Now listen, Drake, we know if you watch this video up here, I uploaded a few months ago, that I was in the same park as Drake. I was on the Gaunt Next spot to play him five separate times and he quit all five separate times because he didn't want to play me, all right? So Drake, you might catch some new inspiration from getting beat down by me, who knows? But all I know is I want to play you in NBA 2K. Nonetheless, Nice For What, fantastic song. It was one of those songs where you're like, I don't really mess with the song. And then you listen to it more and you're like, yo, this song is nice, bro. You start to bump your, it was one of those. And for our second story of the day, uh, Hank the Tank is back on the news, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, he came back to YouTube. He's uploading consistently now. But instead of doing NBA 2K content, he's doing Fortnite content. But he's expressed his sadness because his channel isn't performing as it used to. Now, Hank, I don't know what you expected when you took a, it, I'm not gonna lie, it felt like more than four months break from YouTube, but that's usually what happens. Let's read his tweets. My return video got 100K views, and every video since then has decreased in views. I don't know what to do anymore, and I'm quite sad I let my channel die for four months. He followed up by saying this. I wish I had the following I used to, or well, the support I used to. I forgot how hard it is to go from nothing to something. Indeed, those are true facts. Hank, it's not that your fans don't mess with you no more is that the YouTube algorithm doesn't mess with you no more because when it's used to you regularly uploading and then you take a massive break, it's like, yo, you're abandoning us. At the end of the day, they're trying to get more people on their start more frequently. So they're gonna wanna promote people that more consistently help do that. So sometimes it could just be notifications not going out. Maybe your subscribers aren't being notified. Sometimes it doesn't even show up in subscriptions. We know all the problems YouTube has, right? There's no point in complaining about it. But Hank, that's what happens sometimes when you take a break. I used to do this thing where I used to like tell people like, no, don't do that, do this with your channel. Yo, I, this is, and I was giving out gems, right? All the stuff I learned from just watching other people and my experience. Here's what I learned, man. Not everybody has the same life goals as me, right? And I'm not gonna have the same life goals as the next person. And so I, I stopped, telling people what to do with their lives and their channel. If someone wants to take a break for four months because they're just sick of whatever and they can't handle it, and whatever the case is, I just like, whatever, it's their life, they're gonna do their thing, move on. Hank, this is just like, I guess it's a lesson to everybody else. If you have a channel, it's doing fantastic, you really can't afford to take breaks, which is part of the reason why young agent wants to go to Dubai. I can't go to Dubai because I'm in Canada making videos so frequently. But I love my job and I'm incredibly grateful. So fuck Dubai, I'd rather do this. On our next story of the day, this is actually really big news. NBA Playgrounds 2 was meant to launch. What was the date? I don't know, I think it was yesterday or something. And apparently, not only did they delay the game, which is normal, some games get delayed when they're not ready and you know, this is important because they actually refunded pre-orders, which is ludicrous. They lost out on potentially hundreds and thousands, maybe even millions of dollars by refunding these pre-orders. I don't know if it was lower than they expected. I don't know if there was a problem with the game they couldn't launch with and it was gonna take a very long time, but they, they gave a refund to all the people who pre-ordered, which is massive news, which means that there's a, there's a potential that the game is just straight up canceled for whatever reason. And it looked like they had some very promising features. I don't know what the case is. Listen, all right, I'm just reporting to you what we know so far. NBA Playgrounds 2 has been canceled, and I know some people hit me up on Twitter like, yo, Agent, I've been really excited for that game. I cannot believe it's been canceled. All right. On our next story of the day, the NBA 2K League viewership has been declining. Now, you guys know I made a video like a week or two ago and I said the numbers were between 3,000 to 8,000, sometimes more than that, sometimes less than that, on average in the live stream. Now, the numbers have been slowly dwindling. Now, you know, it's, it's sitting around 2K live viewers watching the league. Sometimes when like Dimes is playing or something or there's an interesting matchup, like it might jump to 5,000, but it had some people asking questions criticizing the league for some of the decisions that they've made and it's been causing like quite an uproar like managers are saying this and then like people criticizing are saying that and people are going back and forth at each other. Adam Rubin, the manager for the Detroit Pistons said this on Twitter. 3K viewers is still three times the average number of viewers NBA 2K got before the league started. The audience right now is a 2K audience. When the rest of basketball world tunes in, you'll see the numbers rise, which, ah. He said the 2K audience, it's not three times, I mean, I don't think we should ever be comparing 
numbers to, to the abysmally low Twitch numbers on NBA 2K. This is a screenshot somebody sent to my group chat and then somebody, somebody actually tweeted it out and I was like, damn, somebody tweeted that, that's reckless. And it was a picture of Chess on Twitch getting more views than NBA 2K. On YouTube, 2K's actually doing all right. There's some creators that's popping, doing their thing, right? On Twitch, it's all dead. Everybody is dead, dead, out the water, like it's a fish and he's trying to gasp for oxygen, but he can't because it's dead. I don't, that was the worst analogy I might have ever given out. There were days where there was zero playoff basketball. It was in prime time, like 7 p.m., like, and people still weren't tuning in. So, of course, there's some adjustments that's gonna be made. I've talked to some people, and they've said that they've advised the league to do this and this, and so I guess it's just on the league to make the right decisions from this point moving forward. But one thing I did see was the FIFA, they were running a FIFA tournament like last month, and it pulled like 88,000 viewers. And I know they were giving out FIFA Ultimate Team cards, and while well, it might not have been real viewership, stop. Stop making excuses, all right? Here's what I know. Even if 2K tried to give out my team cards, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't even come close to 88,000. So, uh, some questions to be answered there. Of course, all of us are hopeful that the 2K League is gonna do this and this. I hope it switches to 2K Cam. I hope we can see the shot meters of the players. I hope they let the players customize their animations. I hope, like, they just let them use their builds, man. Why are we always limiting these builds in the name of balance? It's making the game boring and slow. I hope, I hope we speed up the process. Like, every five minutes, we gotta do, like, a five-minute break watching advertisements, like... <laughs> But that's just the news, all right? It's what people are talking about, and of course, nobody is gonna have a definite answer. On that note, the only other bit of news is I have a new car. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, all right? And I have to add some mods to it, and car reveal coming soon. I have to pick up my car in a couple days. I, I am so incredibly excited. You guys know I've almost died multiple times in my Honda. I wish I was exaggerating, but it threw me off the highway and into a ditch, so I'm not exaggerating. I it's gonna feel great to have a car that won't kill me. It's gonna be fantastic. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, put on the post notifications. Although, let's be honest, it probably won't work. Let's try it anyways, all right? I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.